The Dell UP271 5K is just a complete, unnecessary, absolutely beautiful, wasted chunk of money. These were my initial thoughts when I heard about the Dell 5K monitor. Maybe this is because I upgraded my wide quad HD monitor just recently as in late last year to an Asus 4K. Or it was the price tag of nearly $2,500 of the Dell 5K monitor that really just didn't do it for me. Well, now the Dell 5K monitor is only at $1,500. So with that price change, is it worth it? There's no doubt about it that Dell is trying to compete head on with the 5K iMac. Since Apple pretty much owns this market, being that there's really no other selections out there for 5K, although the biggest difference between these two monitors per se is the fact that the iMac is also a standalone computer. So where does the 5K Dell stand? Well, for one, Windows users, and for two, people with a Mac Pro. The build and design of this monitor is nothing short of premium. Weighing around 20 pounds combined with the stand, it definitely feels solid. Now the stand itself is like a brushed aluminum type finish, something that you would find on Apple products. It attaches to the UP271 5K on the back side by simply pressing and clicking it into place. This concerned me when initially assembling everything, but I soon found out that it's very sturdy and it's a reliable connection. The stand allows the monitor to tilt, swivel, and pivot. Now the monitor can pivot to 90 degrees if you like to edit your photos in portrait mode, and it automatically rotates so you don't have to go into settings or anything like that. Although you will have to adjust the settings within Windows, to display everything within Windows in portrait mode. For those of you that don't like the desk mounts that come with monitors, it does feature a 100 millimeter VESA mount connection on the back. Um, and with the optional VESA kit, you can definitely mount it on a wall or different mounting types. The front side has an edge to edge glass display, but still has relatively thick bezels. Although you really won't be paying attention to them too much because the display itself is gorgeous. But when you compare it to something saved from Asus, the bezels are really big. The monitor features several ports, including one mini display port, two full-size display ports, one upstream USB 3.0 port, five downstream USB 3.0 ports, and one has the ability to actually charge a device. And finally, they even include a media SD card reader located on the side. Now, other than the SD card reader, all of these ports can be covered for better cable management and just viewing in general with a little plastic plate that just clicks into place. When you pair that with the built-in cable management on the stand, you can actually clean up your setup quite nicely. On the right-hand side, you're going to find your array of different buttons, and these include a power button, your navigation buttons, as well as like your menu and volume, and so on and so forth. All of them have a great tactile response for the most part, and the power button actually has a built-in LED to make it easier to differentiate that button from the rest. Plus, it's easier to find when you're in like a dark room or something like that. The speakers found on the Dell 5K are actually really decent, um, considering they're built-in speakers within a monitor. Now, they're Harman Kardon and they're 16 watts. Now, in my experience, they work relatively good, um, but they're not going to replace premium desktop speakers or studio monitors, so don't even think that at all. All in all, in terms of functionality and build quality, the Dell 5K monitor is probably the best built uh, monitor I have used to date, and I absolutely love the functionality of it. The display found on the UP271 5K is nothing short of outstanding, at least from a creator standpoint. It features a 16x9, 5120x2880 IPS panel with an anti-glare and 3H hard coat. The Dell 5K monitor is aimed at creative professionals. Whether you're into photo or video, uh, this is the monitor that Dell has uh, made for you guys. It's a true 10-bit panel with 99% of Adobe RGB and 100% of sRGB. During my use, the actual picture quality and the level of detail exceeded my expectations. The amount of colors being produced in the extreme crisp and sharp display of that 5K Dell monitor was just amazing. Plus, the colors just pop out of the display. Everything appears very wet and glossy, 
but it's still that anti-glare display and it does a great job at keeping some of the glares down from external lights and so on and so forth. Furthermore, you can use a display calibrator like the Color Monkey I have here to maintain that color accuracy or if you just want to freshen it up out of the box, you can do so. The Dell 5K also has amazing off-access viewing. So whenever you're viewing it on the side, you should still be able to make out for the most part what's being displayed. Light bleed is present as it is with most LCDs, but it's not bad. Uh, the light bleed that I have um, is nowhere near as bad as the ASUS monitor that I have been rocking for the past few months. Now, one minor thing that concerned me was how warm the display itself got. Now, whenever you touch it after using it for about two hours, you actually feel quite a bit of warmth from it. It worries me because of the increased chance of the display suffering from the burn-in effect. This typically happens when your display is on the same screen for an extended amount of time and you're not using a screensaver um, objects on your display will actually become uh, permanently ghosted into your display so you always see them. However, the UP271 5K from Dell does feature great power saving features, so it's always a great idea to keep those enabled so things like this do not happen. Connecting the monitor to your computer, whether it be PC or Mac, uh, requires you to use two display ports. Otherwise, you won't get the 5K signal. If you use one display port, the one with the little blue dot, you're only gonna get a 4K signal. So you gotta use both of these display ports and then run them to your GPU, which also has to feature, of course, two display ports. Now, 5K requires a lot of horsepower to push all those pixels. And at first, it kept causing my display drivers to crash. But after a couple updates from Nvidia, everything worked out fine and now it works flawlessly. My experience with the Dell 5K monitor has been a beautiful nightmare. At first, it was a nightmare. It kept causing everything to crash. I had to unplug it from the wall randomly a few times just to gain the 5K resolution back because it would drop to 2K. I still can't figure out why. It also kept my GPUs, which are two NVIDIA Titan Xs in SLI, at an idle temperature of 50 degrees Celsius, sometimes even 66. So it was anywhere between 50 to 66. And I, I don't understand why it would idle at those temperatures when other times it would drop between 28 to 32. It was just very inconsistent. Of course, this doesn't concern me nowhere near as much as the crashing of the display drivers themselves, especially when I was rendering a project or exporting and it would shut down my NLE and I would lose all of my unsaved work. Now I can't blame it all on the display itself. Reason being, when I plugged this into my 2013 Mac Pro, I experienced none of these issues. No crashing, no hiccups, no stutters. Now it could be because the GPUs found in the Mac Pro are more professional based, or it could be the fact that it's Windows 10 versus Mac OS. If you guys have any information on this, let me know in the comment section below. So is the Dell UP271 5K worth it? Well, this is the best display I have ever laid eyes on in terms of resolution, sharpness, and it's right on up there with the ASUS PA329Q in terms of color accuracy. And from a creator standpoint, a 10-bit display is absolutely a must, and having that 5K resolution is great whenever you're doing some fine tuning on photos or video work. But in the end, I chose not to keep it. Why? It's just not for me. It's too expensive. It's $1,500 for a monitor alone. And really, it takes too much out of my GPUs. I would rather have a multiple 4K monitor setup and have it run at ease. Plus, currently, there's really no need for a 5K monitor. I mean, 4K is still being adopted by many, and a lot of people are still shooting in 1080p. So having 5K is yeah, future-proof, but you can purchase this at a later given time at a much reduced price and it still be future-proof. Plus, not to mention, you can pretty much get an all-in-one computer with a 5K display for roughly about the same price. Granted, the actual quality is going to be a little bit less. It's still 5K, looks great, and you won't find too many people complaining about the 5K iMac. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like it, share it with your friends, subscribe, leave me a comment, do what you do, and of course, be easy.